I want my day in court. Before you ran from the police, did your brother or Silky Ford have a gun? Silky had a gun stuck into his jeans. Did you see the gun? I could see the handle. It was a magnum, like Dirty Harry, you know, make my day. On the street that night, you had a fight. What was that about? Uh, Silky short weeded Tommy. I said something. He pushed me, Tommy pushed him. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Did you ever at any time see your brother carry or fire a gun? No, never. No further questions. Ah, oh, boy. Let's start from the beginning, Abel. Isn't it true that your brother was planning to buy a gun from Silky Ford that night? Yeah, but he... He was planning on buying a 357 Magnum. Yeah, but he never... Just answer yes or no, please. Now, your brother was a student at Princeton University, is that right? Objection, Your Honor. This has all been covered. I'm trying to establish something important here, Your Honor. We'll let Mr. Ellery travel this road again. Overrule him. He was a student at Princeton. Yes. Were you proud of him? Everybody was. Everybody was. And you told people all the time how proud you were of him. Of course I did. Well, then please tell the jury, if you were so proud of him, whether you would honestly admit that he was capable of shooting a policeman. Objection, hypothetical. Sustained. No more of that, Mr. Ellery. Abel, were you in the alley the night your brother was shot? You know I wasn't. So you don't know what went on there, do you? Had to happen, Ben. You watched the jury, they didn't believe a word he said. Fader's gonna walk. We could get Davis to roll if Silky does. But Silky won't roll unless he's set up for a felony. Shut him up. Is that ethical? It's legal. In the criminal justice system, that makes it ethical. Silky is committing a felony that night, half a pound of crack, he's a drug dealer. What do you think happened in that alley? Best bet, Fredo got trigger happy, shot the kid, told Silky to take the crack and run. Call Greavy and Logan, set Silky up for cell weight. Hello, Silky. You looking fine, baby. I thought with Tommy gone, you'd be out of business, though. Yeah, well, I got other customers. The wire works. Thank God for small miracles. You got my rocks? You know it. A pound of the best. Five grand, baby. Countdown. Three. Two. Yeah, baby. Later. One. Go! Go, go, go! Run! Free! Holy! I ain't moving! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! So what, are you going to protect me for the next 30 years? You're a predicate felon, Silky. You can get put away for 15 years to life. Okay, sports fans, let's go to the videotape. Did you see Fredo Parisi shoot Tommy Richardson? Fredo says, don't move. Tommy turns to say something and the cop shoots him. Tommy didn't have no gun. Fredo takes my gun, he wipes it on his shirt, twice. He puts it in Tommy's hand. Fredo tells me to take the dope and leave. Says it's my lucky day. Did he say anything else? Oh, yeah. He says if I tell anybody, he'll kill me. At my cell at the tombs, he tells me again, keep your mouth shut or you're dead. Even if I burn him, his partner will get me. Well, you have five kids, terrific wife, nice house. Massapequa, isn't it? Yeah. You've earned five or six citations. You have a great record. Don't let misguided loyalty ruin your life. You stay with Fredo, he'll take you down. He's my partner. Something you don't know. When they brought the Richardson boy to the morgue, he had $3,000 on him. The transaction never took place. He never bought Silky's gun. You weren't even there.
After the incident was called in to internal affairs, what did Patrolman Parisi tell you? He said if there was ever a lineup, he didn't want me to identify the guy with the birthmark. Did he tell you why? I said I didn't have to worry. If they picked him up, he would say he wasn't there. Did Patrolman Parisi tell you why he was so certain you didn't have to worry? He said, he let him take the crack, stuff he was going to sell. Were you at all concerned that Patrolman Parisi might be wrong? That the suspect in question might admit to being there that night? No. Fredo, Patrolman Parisi said it was a sure thing. The guy didn't dare open his mouth. No more questions. And no questions of this witness. You may step down. Prosecution calls Dorian Silky Ford. Mr. Stone, is this going to take some time? Yes, Your Honor. Well, in view of how late in the day it is, let's continue tomorrow. Any objections? Court is adjourned. <clears throat>